Look at what we have found sitting on the top of a termite mound. The hunt is done, the hunt is over, the cokes have made their way back up to their favorite spot around the mountain, and they're being watched by the tiny little faces that were so hoping for their imminent demise. Hello, you lot. Oh, the Angamas are such a pleasure to spend time with because they're actually, they're so easy to find. You just know, at the moment that is, I'm sure that will change as the cubs get bigger and time goes on, but at the moment you just know if you come to this drainage line they're going to be somewhere around here. That does not apply, of course, in the pitch black of night, especially when you don't have a thermal device, in which case they're a lot harder to find. But, one, two, three, four, five, and then six and seven I think are lying off around the bushes there. Oh wait, hold on. Yeah, there's number six, and I'm sure number seven is somewhere there. So seven older cubs and three younger cubs are plenty of incentive for the lionesses to work very, very hard in keeping them fed. So among them are the three that came so close to those hyenas two nights ago. I'm sure that happens to them every single night. Tough being that tiny. And if I'm not mistaken, I would say there's quite a few males in this group as well. I still haven't had a proper opportunity to spend too much time concentrating on their sexes, but I've seen at least three males in this group. Rashni, you say that the Angamas have become the Inkahumas of the Mara. They're certainly the pride that we are getting to know very, very quickly. And whilst they certainly face different challenges, as I said, and different, um, different benefits to living where they live, we are getting to know them almost as well as we know the Inkahumas. It's okay, little one. Where are you going? Going on a wonder. These cubs love climbing trees as well. Where are we off to? All trotting away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All seven alive and well. I did just want to do a head count. Trotting off. I wonder if they heard mom. It's possible they heard mom's call. Could be that lioness, that fourth lioness that we saw was on her way here. She definitely called them. figures moving through the grass. Unfortunately, I can't magic myself across this drainage line. We'll have to go around. On their way a bit further to the east, which is of course where their younger cousins are being kept secret and safe. Certainly spent a lot of time with the Angamas recently. One whole night, or well, several whole nights, is a period of time that you actually find yourself forming quite a, a respect for these animals. Okay, on we go, around and about. Whoa. I now know every inch of this road so well. And while our lions patiently await the arrival of the migration, Scott is already there. Let's see what the Vildies are up to.